Thank you. Thank you all for being here. God bless you. I look at that, that front row of World War II veterans. I'm so proud to see you here. Where uh, you've dwindled down to a precious few. And we honor you. We respect you. We salute you. Thank you for all you did for our country and all you did for this world of ours. I, you know, my career, my life has been bounded by war. I was born three weeks before Pearl Harbor. I did not meet my father until the end of 1945. He and five of his brothers wore the uniform. Four of my mother's brothers wore the uniform. We were heavily invested in that war. And my first memories are of growing up in houses full of frightened women looking out the window for the telegraph boy. We, my mother and I lived between her mother's house and my dad's mother's house, like the other wives and kids who were just getting started in life when, uh, when this war intervened and interrupted whatever plans we might have had. It, it, uh, we moved back and forth. My mother could always tell when we had about worn out our welcome. And we would move to the other grandmother's house 30 miles away. I, I remember VE Day and VJ Day. VJ Day especially. My grandmother, Galloway, was so glad to be getting her sons home, all but one of them alive. She and the other neighbor ladies in the little town of Franklin, Texas, they got out their big black wash pots they dug up beef from I don't know where, and they dug up vegetables, and they cooked up stew, and there were 20 hand crank ice cream makers full of ice, each with a little kid sitting on top of it. I know because I was one of those little kids, and we had a stew and ice cream dinner to end them all. And it was all to celebrate the end of World War II. The end of a war that took the lives of 60 million human beings. It took the lives of half a million Americans dead and missing in action. It cost us so much and yet there was not a voice raised against that war because it had to be fought. It not only had to be fought, it had to be won because there were forces of evil loose in this world and they had turned the lights out in Europe. They had turned the lights out in most of Asia and we had to take those places at the point of a bayonet and turn the lights back on. And that's exactly what you men did. We can never thank you enough for that. The world can never thank you enough for that. We, we saw a war come to an end and we saw allies become our enemies. We saw our enemies become our best friends. Uh, the world changed and it changed quickly. I, I, I think about uh, William Manchester uh, and his writings about the war in the Pacific. And he said, you know, uh, I fought on Okinawa and I thought that the places we fought, the battles we fought, that school children would remember those dates and the names of those places where we fought 
like we had remembered about World War I and the Civil War and the Spanish-American War. But he said the world so speeded up that nobody remembered. Nobody remembered the names of, and the dates of our battles where we suffered and sacrificed. It was lost in the rush. I remember my dad and his brothers, my uncles, coming home and how they had basically lost four or five years of their life and they were in such a hurry to get it back, to get busy, to get jobs, to get an education, the GI Bill, sent them to college. I remember talking to my, my good buddy, uh, General Dick Cavazos. He was a student at Texas Tech when the World War II veterans in a wave arrived in 1946. He said they scared the crap out of us. They were in such a hurry. They, they, didn't want, they, they, they had no time to waste. They got in there, they made the grades, they got their degrees, and God help you if you got in their way. So, we come here today to honor a generation that is going away, that is almost gone. It was indeed and is a great generation, fought a great war, helped build a world worth living in. Now it's up to us to defend it and carry on. Thank you all. God bless you. God bless all our soldiers, Marines, sailors, and airmen deployed around the world today. And thank you, especially you, our veterans. God bless you.